it's like with any culture, with anything, when people don't understand it right away, they're, they're against it. And I have basically two lives. I have the one as a graffiti writer, and then I have the one as, as Sterling Downey. Graffiti has been around for almost 40 years. People wanted to have a voice, and it was a, it was a very easy way to, to express yourself. It started off as typical, just tags, which are um, basically signatures like you see over on that box over there in red. And then what happened was it became more important, rather than leaving your mark, to, well, not getting caught. So people started using their nicknames that only certain people within certain circles would recognize or know, so they would still get the fame, they would still get the visibility for having done it, but at the same time, authority, uh, authoritarian figures or whatever wouldn't know who they were if they weren't in the loop. This is commonly referred to as a piece, which is um, it's a letter based. It spells my, my graffiti name, and basically I've deconstructed the typical letters of the alphabet so that, they, so that they're more stylized and they look a little bit more artistic. Mais pourquoi vous dessinez ça? C'est bien mieux que de toujours peinturer ton mur à chaque fois que ça sera vandalisé. Comme ça, ça, ça fera plus, uh, ça fera plus vandalisé. Ouais, ouais, ouais. C'est beau, c'est beau. Merci. Yeah. People tend to think that graffiti makes uh, uh, decreases property value and things like that, which the vandalism aspect of it, yes, it does, but the mural aspect actually brightens up a park that had a wall that was once full of tags. To me, it's amazing, you know, the angle and the curve and everything. I think it should be all over the city, this kind of thing. The, the way it's been uh, drawn there, I, I think it's very nice. Prior to starting the company together, we painted in a, as a crew, which was just a group of friends who shared a common interest and who liked to work together and to produce things together. Common misconceptions are you're never going to go anywhere. You know, people used to tell me that like you know six, seven years ago. Since since seven years, I've, I've managed to start up two businesses. I have a magazine that's international. It's starting to change. There's a lot more support towards uh, graffiti now, uh, with events and magazines and uh, books being done on it. A lot of the older graffiti writers uh, becoming well-known designers or uh, or artists selling works for up to you know fifty thousand dollars a canvas. On a day like today, I'd rather see a bunch of fifteen-year-olds or a bunch of whatever seventeen-year-olds or whoever in this park painting a wall, whether it be legal or illegal. I really don't care. Rather than them sitting down in that same park with a bunch of beers in their hands, especially for kids that are. 15 and 16 who, who aren't getting the attention they deserve in school, who aren't getting the attention at home, at least I'm somebody here. I might, I, I might be nobody here to other people, but I'm somebody here.